Students visiting the LBJ Student Center today got a taste of Native American culture. The Native American Student Association hosted its fifth annual celebration of the People Powwow. Traditional arts and crafts like wooden flutes, dream catchers, and even bronze sculptures were on display as visitors were treated to a wide variety of music and dance. Educational presentations followed the dancing, including one by the Nakota Horse Conservancy. Native American groups from Apache to Cherokee and Navajo were all represented at the event. Students may have to pay a hefty price if caught downloading material illegally from the Internet. Ashley Flores has more in this Bobcat update. It may seem innocent at first. You tell yourself it's just this one time. One song won't hurt anyone. Then you get an email that says you've been busted. Some students are unaware of the university policy on downloading material from such websites as LimeWire or Aries. I'm a big LimeWire user. I like LimeWire. I've never been scared because I feel like, I feel like when I'm on there, I don't think that um, anybody's looking at me, watching my activities. When students activate a Texas State Net ID, they agree to the appropriate use policy that states the student will not use university resources to download unauthorized materials. Texas State senior Joseph Adenji says the policy is wise and thinks nothing good can come from downloading illegal files. I used to use LimeWire to download music. Yes, I did. I don't do it anymore. I believe that's why my computer crashed. <laughs> the Recording Industry Association of America is the watchdog that looks for students engaging in illegal activity. Once the association spots prohibited downloading, it sends the university a complaint, which includes the IP address of the computer. Some students don't appreciate this and feel it's unfair to pay for music. Just one person. Um, I really don't think they're going to come after me. Um, I don't have much money. I don't know what they would want from me. <laughs> if you want to continue to download music for free, there are alternatives, such as Hulu or even YouTube. Students who refuse to comply with the rules and continue to download illegally face consequences that can cost a lot more than the 99 cents per song. According to the Texas State website, offenders face paying fines of up to $150,000 for each movie or song that has been illegally acquired or shared. That makes 99 cents seem like a bargain after all. If, if I'm being watched, I'm definitely going to iTunes. I'm going to pay that 99 cents a song for sure. For Popcat Update, I'm Ashley Flores. The Halloween tradition continues this week at First United Methodist Church in San Marcos. That means pumpkins are for sale. The church is selling pumpkins that it bought from an Indian reservation in New Mexico. Most of the money goes back to the reservation. Families can come by Monday through Saturday to take pictures, buy pumpkins, and eat roasted pumpkin seeds. The church is also selling a cookbook with pumpkin recipes. The patch still has pumpkins of all shapes, colors, and sizes for sale through this weekend.